वेलकम टू एंटर नाइन व्यू प्रोपोगेशन लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पी फॉर एंटेना एंड दिस पी फॉर एंटेना दैट इज बीन यूटिलाइज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द मोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज सो दिस इज सो एसेंशियल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड प्रैक्टिकली सो मेनी एप्लीकेशन आर देर बेस्ड ऑन पी फॉर एंटेना सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बेजिक्स आई एक्सप्लेन यू कंप्लीट डिटेल रिगार्डिंग पी फॉर एंटेना बाय दिस आउटलाइंस सो first i'll discuss basics of pfa antenna after that i'll explain you how shortening of pin at feed is been given to pfa antenna and then we will see the basic structure which is there with pfa antenna and then after we will see working of pfa antenna after that i'll explain you how impedance matching is been done in pfa antenna and then we will see how to have designing of pfa antenna and on what parameters pfa antenna is been depending and after that we will see applications of pfa antenna so let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of pfa antenna now if you see the name pifa then that name is based on planar inverted f antenna and from structure we will get to know like how it is planar inverted f and based on that shape only its name is pfa antenna so it forms shape of f in its structure that's why it is referred as planar inverted f antenna and it is a category of microstrip antenna so it is a type of microstrip antenna where it forms f f shape and based on that it is referred as pfa so to improve performance of microstrip antenna there are so many techniques and from that one of the technique is shortening of pins at different location and by doing that we can improve so many parameters and that is what the case which we have done it in pfa so step by step we will see that in working so it will be more clear to all of you pfa antenna is used in mobile phone market and you will be finding like in most of the mobiles this antenna is there right so this is the category of antenna which is having most low profile use and almost everyone is using nowadays with their portable mobiles by doing shortening of pins there are so many parameters that we can achieve and first is size reduction which is highly required in mobile multi frequency resonance is even done like you will be observing in gsm in cdma frequencies are different nowadays in 4g technology even there are few more frequencies which we required to have at our antenna side so multi frequency resonance is required that we can have it by having pfa we can have gain improvement we can have desired radiation pattern so all those things that we can have it by having pfa so let us see first of all what is the case which we do it in case of shortening of pin in antenna so for low frequency elements shortening of pins would deliver zero power like you will be observing at dc signal if you do shortening in that case one can say you will be delivering zero power but as you increase frequency it doesn't get short right and at high frequency shortening is not possible but here we do shortening of pin to optimize few parameters of antenna so at high frequency like antenna devices introduce parallel inductance with antenna impedance and by having parallel inductance you will be finding like impedance of antenna is decreasing and as impedance of antenna is decreasing we can have proper impedance matching with free space which will improve radiation characteristic of antenna so that even we will see step by step like you will be observing this is dielectric material which is the case which is there with antenna and in this dielectric material at lower side there will be ground plane you can observe and over here i have microstrip line and i have placed microstrip antenna over here now if you observe this structure so this is what the basic structure which is there with microstrip antenna and in that if i do shortening of pin like see this is how i have shorted one pin over here for this microstrip antenna then if you observe its equivalent circuit for initial case of microstrip antenna then that will be this only but by having shortening you will be finding additional parallel element of inductance that we are doing so in case of parallel combination we will be decreasing resultant impedance of this microstrip antenna which will find impedance matching with free space and that improves radiation characteristic of given antenna so if you do shortening of pin 
at the end one can say we decrease resultant impedance of given antenna now i'll explain you the structure which is there with p5 antenna so you can see here dielectric material is there and below that there is ground plane which is made up of metal you can have aluminium or copper which is having very good conductivity over here first we are having micro strip line through which signal will come and then you can observe i have placed micro strip antenna over here now this is what the case which is there with micro strip antenna and if i do shortening of pin at two side you can find this is p for structure and why this is p for structure you see this is micro strip antenna by black color and this is shortening of pin now if you see this is what inverted f shape so this is f shape which is inverted f right and based on that name only its name is planar inverted f antenna so that is how it is there right planar micro strip antenna is there inverted f shape is there and based on that name is there as p5 antenna and initially as i have discussed as if you provide shortening of pin result and impedance of antenna decreases which will be providing better impedance matching with free space so that we can optimize radiation characteristic of this antenna and you will be finding initial size of micro strip antenna was lambda by 2 now after having shortening of pin you can see this is lambda by 4 so here are two things that is happening one is reduction in impedance of that device second is reduction in size of that device right so impedance as well as size that we reduce by having this structure and this is what you can see it from other angle where see this is antenna this is one pin and this is second pin and from this side if you see then you will be finding from this side it appears like f shape right or even you can see it from this side we just need to see it is having f shape and based on that f shape that name is planar inverted f antenna now we will see how it is working so see antenna resonance that happens at quarter wavelength and it is having very good sar f properties so sar properties means specific absorption rate and that happens because of lowering of impedance and that is what the case which we do it by having p for structure so as per the shape of patch antenna it is referred as p for antenna it is very popular the reason is it is having very low profile and omni directional pattern which is broadly used in mobile communication as in mobile communication we need omni directional radiation pattern frequency of p5 antenna decreases to lambda by 4 from lambda by 2 due to shortening of pin as we have seen it earlier now impedance matching of p5 antenna now as we have seen the structure how to do impedance matching so for impedance matching all we do is we can displace this pin like see right now you find this pin is over here i can move it like this right so as i move this pin like this its impedance changes and whatever impedance that is there with transmission line that should get matched to this antenna so that we can deliver maximum power so this is what the basic phenomenon which is required as if exact impedance matching is been there then we can deliver maximum power so we need to see what is the impedance which is there with transmission line and based on that we will be moving this position and at certain point we will be finding impedance is getting matched to its exact value where we can provide this feeding point and based on that we can give em signal to this antenna so the impedance of pfa can be controlled via distance d like see this is the distance d right and by changing this distance d we can change impedance as you provide closer to the field you will be finding impedance will decrease so this pin get closer to this shortening of pin you will be finding that impedance will decrease so in short we can say smaller the d smaller the impedance and if you increase in d then impedance will increase so based on transmission line impedance we need to change this d like see sometimes you will be having cable which is having impedance of 75 ohm sometimes you will be having impedance based on cable impedance of 50 ohm so for 50 ohm we need to provide this closer connection of this feed point 
and for 75 ohm we need to place it bit far. The impedance can increase by moving it further apart from shorting gauge. So if you increase this D, you will be finding impedance will increase and that is how we provide impedance matching. Now how we can design this P5 antenna. So this is quite interesting and based on need we need to de design. It is not like some specific design is perfect but based on need we need to change parameters. So how to change parameter? What is the need of demand? And based on that we should be designing P5 antenna. So let us see that step by step. Here you can observe different parameters are there L1, L2, W, D, H. So all those parameters are there and based on that we can design it. So how those parameters are getting impacted and how those will get changed. Let us try to understand that step by step. The resonance frequency of PFA depends on W. If W is equals to L2, then shorting of pins pin runs at entire width of patch. In this case, PFA has maximum radiation efficiency. So see what it indicates. Like if you have W is equals to L2. So what it means, this shorting of pin that we do it on complete end of this antenna. And in this situation, here you will be finding maximum radiation efficiency is there. So if you increase this width, then efficiency will be maximum. And there are a few more parameters which will get changed. So that you will get to know after a few points. So see if W is equals to L2, in that case, this L1 will be lambda by 4. If W is equals to L2, in that case, L1 will be lambda by 4. Now, if you have W is equals to 0, so in that case, you'll be finding here there is one pin only, right? As if this W is equals to 0, you cannot have 0, but it is minimum. So in that case, one can say this is very small pin over here. So in that case, resonance frequency, resonance efficiency will be less, right? But you'll be finding few more parameters is getting optimized. Like see W is equals to 0, in that case L1 plus L2 is equals to lambda by 4. So resultant size is decreasing. You see initially if W is equals to L2, in that case this L1 is lambda by 4. Now if W is equals to 0, in that case L1 plus L2 is equals to lambda by 4. What it means? This area is decreasing. At the end if you provide W is equals to minimum, this area will decrease. If you increase this W, then this area that will increase, right, as L1 is equals to lambda by 4. So let us try to understand how that happens. Like say in general, what is the approximation? So in general, we can say L1 plus L2 minus W is equals to lambda by 4. So see if W is decreasing, in that case L1 plus L2 that will decrease this area of edge. And if W is more in that case, in that case, as radiation efficiency is more. So we need to see two things, size of the antenna as well as radiation efficiency. If you increase radiation efficiency, then size of antenna will increase. If you decrease radiation efficiency, then size of antenna will decrease. So this is how relation is there in between these parameters. So based on the demand, based on the need, we should choose this parameter so that effectively we can utilize this device. Now capacitive loading of PFA antenna. So see, there could be so many questions. Like in market, you'll be finding we need to have as small device as possible. The reason is nowadays all devices are getting compact and you will be observing that with you. Like mobiles are getting smaller and smaller, right? And that is happening because of we are reducing size of electrical devices. And in antenna even we need that. So how to reduce size of PFA antenna and for that we need to understand capacitive loading. So capacitive loading that we do it to decrease further size of PFA antenna and you can see this is what PFA antenna where if we provide capacitive loading over here then further reduction in size is possible. So this is what capacitive loading where here we load capacitor at this position. Right, you can change position of this capacitor over here somewhere 
but by having this capacitance we can reduce size right and that is what the basic agenda which is there with capacitive loading now applications of pf antenna as i have told you there is a broad use of pf antenna in mobile so broadly used in mobile market in portable communication we can use it in short range communication we can use pf antenna so these are the applications i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries Thank you so much for watching this video.